In this video, I'm going to go over how to use tissue Doppler. Now, tissue Doppler may seem confusing at first, but if you just think about tissue Doppler as just another form of pulse wave Doppler that just measures lower velocity signals, you'll be just fine. So let's go over exactly how to do tissue Doppler. So the first thing you want to do, as in all of your Doppler settings, is make sure that you get a 2D image of what you want first. So here we're getting an apical four chamber view, and here's the uh, left atrium, left ventricle, right ventricle, right atrium over here. And what we're gonna try to do is measure the tissue or the muscle movement as it goes towards and away from the probe, right? So tissue Doppler basically, like we said before, just measures lower velocity signals, and the muscle is gonna travel much slower than the blood flow is, right? So we're gonna see how that uh, works here. So here we got the 2D image, and the first thing you wanna do when you um, wanna use tissue Doppler is you're actually gonna push pulse wave Doppler first, because if you notice, here I'll scroll back a little bit, uh, when I'm in my 2D mode, there's no tissue Doppler sitting on this right-hand side, okay? But once I push pulse wave Doppler, so here's pulse wave Doppler, I push this, the cursor comes out and the sample gate, but you'll notice now there's another option for TDI, that's tissue Doppler imaging, or TDI. And once you get your cursor to where you want to measure your tissue, um, instead of pushing pulse wave Doppler, which we would normally do if you just wanted pulse wave, you would end up pushing the TDI button instead. So I'll show you how that looks here. So now I'm getting it right where the annulus is there, the medial annulus. And now after I got that, I was able to push the pulse wave or the tissue Doppler over here on the right hand side and then that activates the tissue Doppler here. And you know this is tissue Doppler for um, for the reason that if you look on the right hand side, look at the velocities over here, it's measuring only, this is like just 20 centimeters per second. If you activated a pulse wave Doppler setting, it would go all the way up to about 100, um, 100 to 150 centimeters per second. So this is definitely measuring much lower, lower velocities uh, than the pulse wave Doppler would. So here we've activated it. And right when you activate, you start seeing a tracing over here of your tissue Doppler. So this is actually, the not blood flow, but actually the movement of this tissue, this, this muscle, as it goes towards and away from your ultrasound probe. And that's what you're measuring here. So this is the uh, S wave right here, and this is your E prime, and this is your A prime over here. Uh, the, the full details of how to interpret all these waves uh, are beyond the scope of this video right here, but um, we're just gonna be using this example just to show you how you can use a uh, tissue Doppler. So, after you got your settings, um, actually, I'm gonna go scroll back here a little bit here. Um, you'll notice that you can, see what I'm doing here is I'm adjusting my baseline up and down right here. So you can adjust the baseline. So that's the first thing you wanna do, just like in any other uh, pulse wave, continuous wave, or tissue Doppler, is adjust your uh, baseline first, okay? Adjust your baseline. You can also adjust your, let's see what else we're gonna adjust here. Here, we're adjusting our, gain down here and the next thing we're going to be adjusting is our scale so here the scale i'm going to if you uh, increase or decrease the scale it will change the centimeters per second over here and that will either uh, decrease or increase your signal strength over here there you go so here we're decreasing that uh, scale and you see how now the wave looks a lot larger than it did before. So adjust your scale, and then after that, you freeze, push freeze, and then just scroll to where you want to measure your tracing or measurement. And once you have that, just gonna scroll back and forth. And here we're just looking for a correct measurement. And then you just push measure on your machine. Uh, a caliper should come out, and then you can just measure the actual value of your measurement, which we're gonna do in a second right here. So here, and then you can just kind of put your cursor wherever you want to measure, and the measurement will appear up here. So here, corresponding to this cursor line is seven 
centimeters per second or 0 0.07 meters per second over here. Okay, so um, so that anyways, that's how you do tissue Doppler. Hope that was helpful.